Today's video from ShopStuff, we're going to try and troubleshoot uh, barcode scanning problems uh, when you've got a scanner set up with a cash register. So in this video I'm using the NR500 series from SAM 4S um, and the Hornet barcode scanner, omnidirectional barcode scanner. So the video is obviously specific to this till and this scanner combo, but it's also universal. Um, so some of the things I'll try to correct the problem and show how the problem might have been caused are universal across cash registers and barcode scanners. Um, so the first thing to note is, obviously this is really frustrating, you've got your till set up, you've programmed all your products, um, but basically when you're trying to scan a barcode on the fancy scanner, you just get in a funny message. Whichever barcode you try and scan, it's the same message, and so you get in a double beep, and the, the indicator is there's a red light showing on the, um, the top of the scanner. That light should be blue. The only solution I've found to this is effectively to turn the scanner off and on again. And obviously because the scanner's taken its power from the till, you have no choice but to turn the till off. Uh, now on this particular model, um, there's a just a normal on off switch at the side of the register. Personally, I like to turn the mode key round to off and then turn the till off at the side. Obviously you can see the light goes out straight away and the till is off as well. When you turn the till back on, the scanner comes back on, it starts off red with the error and then uh, the blue symbol comes on so you know basically that the scanner is going to work now and we can prove the point by scanning one of our items and it comes up so that's a pre-programmed item, we scan it and it works. Take another barcode. If you've not, obviously if it's not been programmed then it won't come up, so you can press the clear button to get rid of that. Um, cash that sale off. In terms of how this happens, so that's the solution to it, it's the only solution I've been able to find. It sound, it's basically turn it off, turn it back on again. I don't like unplugging them and plugging them back in. I, th I think you're better off uh, just losing the power to it. So basically what's happened is that the, the scanner's basically developed an error. It's not liked something that's been unput inputted. Now the, I try to replicate this because obviously we're set up in a nice cosy office um, where we haven't got lots of customers coming in and um, hassling us. So it's difficult to us to replicate the problems that you might have in a shop. The only way I've been able to cause the scanner to get an error is to scan lots of barcodes that the till doesn't recognize at once. Now, I'm not saying this is the only reason why it might happen. Grab another barcode. Clear that because that noise is really irritating. I have done this before, obviously when I, before I did the video I was able to get it to error really easily. Uh, do you know what? I think I've sussed it, maybe it was because I was halfway through a sales transaction, a successful sales transaction. Yes, that's how you do it. Okay, so a bit on the on the hoof there, but basically I've been able to cause the problem and the reason, I'm not saying this is the only way you can cause the scanner to fail, but obviously I've scanned, I'm in the reg mode, I've scanned a product that was programmed and then I've tried, halfway through a sale, I've then tried to add another barcode product, um, so I guess, and then, but then I've scanned it too many times when the till is errored. Um, so that's my, that's how I've been able to get the scanner um, to error. So I guess my recommendation is to only add new barcode products um, when you're not doing transactions. Obviously there might be emergency scenarios where you need to add a, a barcode product. So I'll show you how to do that now. Um, first of all, I'm gonna clear the error in the same way that I did before. So on the till, clear the error that's on the screen. I'm halfway through a sales transaction. So technically I should either cash this off or cancel it. Um, subtotal. clear, cancel. So I've cancelled that transaction, so now I'm in a position to go to off, turn the machine off here, turn it back on, 
reg mode. Obviously, we'll have a video showing you how to program the uh, barcode products properly by going into the PGM mode, but you can do it as you found um, in the reg mode. So if I scan another product, um, I get the not found PLU error message. So in the short term, you can type in the price and then apply it to one of your PLU buttons here. So let's say number six. Um, and then that allows you to sell it. So they sell the item, but really it's only a short term fix because the whole point of barcode scanning is that you want your PLUs properly recorded in there rather than PLU six. Um, so I cut that sale off. I should now be able to go to the PLU mode in program, add change, one PLU. If I put in six PLU, has that got the bar? No, that's not the barcode one. So if I come out of there, if I scan the coffee again, yes, it comes up with PLU six now. So I can now edit that PLU to say, I'm just gonna quickly call it coffee because this video is already a lot longer than I planned. So you press cash to go into it, C O double F E E. Cash to save it, we've already got the price in there. You've got preset, yes, you've got preset override. Obviously you can toggle between yes and no. If you want to change it to no, you'd go to the hit cash for enter. And then you've got the up and down arrows to toggle between no and yes. Um, You've also, you can assign it to a group and then there's all sorts of tax information. I'll go to, into this in a lot more detail in the um, other videos. So let me just come out of there, back to Reg. Then if I scan that barcode, that's then coffee. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly try and replicate the error again. So I've got a... Noises are irritating. Basically, I think what can happen, obviously a barcode scanner is effectively just an input device. You're scanning a barcode, um, and it's just telling the till what that barcode is. So it keeps going. Yeah, I can't get it to error again. I was hoping to suss out why people have problems with them. I thought I'd figured it out. But I do think it's something to do with when you're halfway through a sales transaction and then you scan multiple barcodes, possibly ones that the till's not set up to read at the same time. But you've seen the solution. Um, I'm not gonna keep filming while I can't get it to error again. Basically, the solution is to turn the key to reg on this particular model, turn the till off at the side, leave it off for a few seconds, wait for the scanner to go off, and then when you turn, you see when I turn it back on, it then beeps and then goes to the blue symbol at the top. Obviously, you don't want that to keep happening all the time, so um, that's how to solve the problem. And then I think, personally, to prevent it happening again, it's only do the programming um, when you've got time to and you're not running sales through the till. Okay, I hope that video has been helpful. Uh, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel for more or our main website is shopstuff.co.uk. Thanks for watching.